We're at the Allergic Stadium in Lost Wages. And I am ready to gamble, Grim. Which slot has the best odds and wages? Uh, that would be the ATM, Bricks. Oh, good. I'll play that one, then. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Orcs of Hazard battle. The Lost Wages Invaders. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, no, nope, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Oh, you idiot. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic. Well, they tried to catch him, but he got away. That's a wasted, dirty trick and one fast son of a QB. First down in inches. First down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. That's a six yard gain. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And that'll be second down and four. And like bricks and fouls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Nah, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. That's what she said. Ah, nah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The kicker died on that play. Now that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the... And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. And it's 
It's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Bingo, bingo, I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. When it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and he just slipped away, and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's a pick. And now the quarterback is cursed. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. <laughs> nah, that's not fair. Someone should call a penalty on this ref. Yeah, the death penalty. Hang him by the nuts. <laughs> First and goal. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> First down and three. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot. two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. The quarterback has had enough and calls up, and he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it does us poetic, man. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, man, he really wants it. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Three. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen. To oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh.
And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. And they'll bring him third down and seven. Does the QB know which team he's on? Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a console, was it? Oh. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Ah, another interception. Jeez, you can... Oh, he just got crushed. up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. Oh, look at he was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well. Whoa, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swiping money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Third down and three. That's a pass and catch for no gain. Then how is it a pass? The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It looks like the defense hit that I... Straight through the uprights.
The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He's probably grabbing me. First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing first and four set up the offense just catch it run it back and don't die one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face you know what they say <laughs> Here comes the defense. He's at the 30. The 20. Great shoestring tackle. There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. First and ten. And that's 
a run for no gain. Second down and ten. And then to first down from a... Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First and ten. Oh, oh, oh. That gets me every time. Like a jacket. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outfit. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. First and ten. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. And they'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wow. lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And we're at the two-minute warning. I got a pee. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. You want dirt and some fun on your tag. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, killer hit, literally. I love how they explode into a shower of blood and guts. Yeah, the pieces of him are flying into the gypsy. The burn. 
return returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. sitting on a bag of potato chips as they say oh that was totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team so it's up to the next man to replace him yeah what exactly is a burn returner grim you now players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense they have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Did I kill him? You can't keep a good mutant down. And the quarterback drills one in. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and, and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I do... Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And that puts six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man. You mean aside from priming the ref, kill the quarterback, crash and play in some D? And they line up for the extra point. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Refuses to go down. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah. Let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Man, what a hit that was! 
Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Well, V five fo fo Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Uh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, y'all been out on me. And it's first and ten. ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. <laughs> Second down and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Third down and five. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Boom! And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message. Because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles! <laughs> there are no more receivers, so it's game over next time the offense takes the field. If the other team punts, that's the game, right, Grim? That's right, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Brick shaboom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Not 
That's a real buzzkill. Second down and seven. Oh, and the defense jumps outside to the tackle. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First down and five. to Orcs, this is a rousing. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! Wages invaders have lost the game by forfeit. Can you believe this, Briggs? Now, did you ever wonder why you park in a driveway but drive on the parkway? Ah, it makes no sense. He's uh, really not with us today, uh, Rip. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.